So today I'm going to be telling you guys how I shoot in the snow. Snow is amazing for photography. It changes the landscape drastically and fills the atmosphere with like magical powdery goodness. So I recently watched the video of Peter McKinnon's and he was talking about how he was shooting at night and how it's completely different from any type of photography. And he said that when you shoot at night, you have to forget everything that you learned about photography because everything you learn is altered. What Peter said is really true and I feel that if you add snow to the mix, everything gets even more interesting. At night, you can get very contrasted and colorful tones. So the blacks will be very heavy and the highlights will be very intense. When it's snowing at night, all the colors are magnified and I feel that's because the snow is white and it reflects a lot of colors. So you get that nice balance of color, light. So what you get is a very rich and colorful picture that is full of juicy tones. So number one is you gotta check the weather. So the weather app I use is the Weather Network. And what I do is I first go to the 14 day forecast and I check which day looks the best for snowing and today is Wednesday but I'm looking at Saturday right now and it's looking pretty good. It is snowing at night, 70% scattered flurries. So on Saturday what you want to do is you're going to want to check the hourly forecast right here and see if it's going to be snowing at night and see today it's not snowing so that's why I'm not shooting today and once you've done that to make sure that it's going to be snowing in your area you're going to go down to radar right and you can see I'm in Toronto right now and you can see the blue right here and that means it's snowing in that area and you just want to check this a few hours before and so you can see it's not snowing in Toronto right now. But once you see that the blue is going over Toronto, that means it's a good day to shoot snow. So for gear, I usually only bring one lens because I like to pack lightly. So for today, I'm going to be using the 16 to 35 2.8. I love this lens because you can get like incredible wide angle shots and also regular street shots with a 35. You want to pick a lens that is 2.8 or wider because you want to let in as much light as possible also this lens is pretty water resistant i added a filter for the front and also there's a rubber ring around it right here and also you can see that the lens focuses internally it moves inside the lens so you don't have to worry about any water getting inside so now that you have the lens you want to pick a good location so i usually shoot in downtown toronto because that's where i live i usually try to find an area that's really busy hustling and bustling because that's where i get the most action what's up guys yo out here taking pictures with the snow got my sony a7 II, 16 to 35 what you got man 60 24 1.4 yeah for the settings of the camera i usually set it to 1 over 125 of a second and that's because I can guarantee that I won't get a blur. So when I'm in a really dark place, occasionally I'll set it to 1 over 50th of a second. But I would only recommend this if you have in-body stabilization and you have a really steady hand. And you don't want to go too low over shutter speed because then you'll get the streaks of snow coming down. And that's not what I really want. I want that nice frozen in time scenery. So usually I'll set my ISO to auto so I don't have to worry about fiddling with the settings and missing a shot in the process. And of course, you're going to want to put your aperture at the widest. So that'll be 2.8 for me, but anything wider will be even better. You want to keep it wide so that you get the most light into your sensor. Also be aware that the camera might get wet, especially in the viewfinder area. So definitely brush off the snow before it melts. I like to find an area that has really good lighting and shoot buildings or cars or people that are passing by. Lastly, make sure you're dressed warmly. Gloves, you want to make sure that they're really warm but also not too thick so that you can still adjust the buttons properly. For boots, try to get a pair that is light but also waterproof because you'll be walking around for a while. And of course, you're going to want a jacket with a hood or at least a hat so that you don't get a head full of snow. And of course, wear a jacket with a hood so that when the wind blows, the snow doesn't get all up in your face. So that's about it. Go out there and have fun. Remember, practice makes perfect, so keep on shooting. Don't forget to like and subscribe if it helped you. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them down below.